What is up YouTube and welcome to this flash video. So if you're new to the channel, please do consider dropping a like and subscribing down below if you did enjoy the video at the end. Of course, click that bell button to get notifications. The Flash has been amazing this season. I really, really have enjoyed The Flash this season, mainly because the thing has been such a curious villain. He's basically what Caden James and Arrow really, really should have been, a really formidable opponent, not flanked by kind of identikit, copy and paste Arrow villains, but the Flash is against the back wall here. He really is not having a good time at the moment, considering that he is currently in prison. And in the next episode, he will actually be possibly escaping out of prison with the rest of the bus metas. And I think the best term for them now is probably going to be the new rogues. So the new rogues were involved with Blacksmith in the comics. And, well, it seems like the blacksmith loves her metas and loves buying them off, off anyone and, and using them for her nefarious gain. Which leads me to think that they will go over to a blacksmith. Not sure if Barry will actually leave, because if he actually does escape, then it is kind of going against the reason why he didn't reveal himself to be the Flash or run away, because he will endanger everyone around him in the fact of the police, uh, the authorities will be interested in his his surroundings, his surrounding people, and also, well, he will always be on the run and can never settle down again. So, that would be weird if he actually escaped. Now, obviously, we'll find more about that in the upcoming episode tonight, which I'm really excited for, and I will, of course, be doing a video for it. But... The question here is that what is the end game of the thinker? Now we know the thinker wants enlightenment. Now it's not quite clear what this enlightenment is. I would presume the enlightenment, if if he was the kind of nice guy, the th philanthropist that he was coming across when he wanted to fix everything and then had the desperate attempt to actually put the thinking cap on himself and then go out and was, well attack or kind of changed by the particle accelerator well i expect that he actually wants to really change the world in the way of probably using his thinking powers he could solve world hunger he could solve global warming he could really fix the entire world but he seemingly has gone a bit too far and a bit too mad with this although his calculations probably it give him one result and that is this guy needs to die for x to happen so the problem is he he was starting to degrade due to the thinking cap being upon his head and this was not very well at all for him and he ended up actually putting his body into brainstorm so he he was able to move his body move his mind into another body in one kind of sinister kind of episode so the original brainstorm is actually dead well his mind is dead and the thinker's body was used to set up the poor old barry allen although surely he could hide the body come back and well he would have enough time if he could you know could do that in between a camera actually moving but that's neither here nor there in this but the end game of the thinker is well to survive and well fix or do something towards the end goal of enlightenment. However, the problem is, poor old Brainstorm, his body, well, the thinker's new body, is going to degrade at some point. We know that the body will degrade. We know this is going to happen because, well, it has to happen because the mind power that he has, the kind of powers, well, that will cause him to degrade at some point as well. It has to, really. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make any sense. Why would he have the powers in this new body if he doesn't degrade they, they they all go hand in hand so the question is what will he do next well to me i think he will actually take over the body of barry allen now in the comics we did have the thinker he took over keystone city and slowly uh, but surely he controlled the minds of every person who lived in kingstone city while wally west was a flash when you know barry allen was totally dead and stuff so what happened then is we actually had wally use the help of cyborg and cyborg's outfit in this just looked completely and utterly bizarre 
Now we know that Barry is has a very, very fast metabolism. This was shown in multiple episodes with him. He know we I believe it's about ten thousand calories that Barry actually has to consume. So that's quite a lot. That's about what Andy Murray, the tennis player, consumes, which you think about it, if he's doing the speed force and running and things like that, I would have thought he'd probably have just a bit more. But I'm not the one to really criticise his energy output, but his metabolism and his healing power. So he is, of course, able to heal at faster speeds. Species do have that ability. If his metabolism is able to heal faster, well, the thinker should be able to actually do this. Now, the question is, why didn't he do that in the first place? Because, well, the Flash, perhaps the thinker DeVoe did not know the kind of powers that he had. He didn't Maybe he didn't know the extent of the speed force. However, he was able to slow, quite quickly trap Barry and was able to neutralize his powers. So the only thing I can suggest is that maybe he actually has Barry pegged for a future task. And that is possibly down to his speed. The only reason he'd probably want is his speed because... If you think about it, he could have neutralized him a lot earlier and a lot faster if he is able to predict absolutely anything. So what I posit is that he will eventually, out of desperation, take the mind of Barry Allen and the cerebral inhibitor. So if you remember the cerebral inhibitor, that was mentioned last season on The Flash. And during this, we actually had the Savitar version of Barry mention that we we had or they worked on the cerebral inhibitor together so this could possibly actually prevent the mind from being transferred over so he's able to prevent that from happening after he realized that the mind has changed or maybe he'll realize that he's been under attack and he will need to actually have this cerebral inhibitor i know i'm reading a lot from this because it's not quite a lot to go on but i'm really basing it on the comics here that he does take over people because what he needs is he needs to have a lot of processing power. So not only is it necessity for him to actually have a better metabolism and healing power, well, the speedsters do have a kind of speed force thinking. It was shown in, in the comics. It wasn't really shown that much in the TV show, but he's able to kind of think at super speed, at speed force levels. So let's let's do this. So we've got the thinker who is able to really predict everything. His mind is like really, really super powered to put it in layman's terms. He then has the fastest mind. He takes over the body of Barry who has this ability to actually use the speed force and you be able to kind of think at super speed. The problem is if he takes over the mind, does he still have control of the speed force because the speed force is it linked to the mind is it linked to the body that would be something which i'm not too sure about but i would presume it is well linked to the body otherwise if he if he took over his body wouldn't have the speed force he wouldn't have the powers so that's what i'm thinking here would be the way they actually do this so let me know what you think in the comments on this do you think this is a good idea do you think that barry will have his mind taken over by the thinker that is it for this video. I've got my Supergirl video coming up as well. It's probably already up by the time you actually watch this. But that is it. Please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe. And don't forget to change your sub box from highlights to, well, everything you actually want. See you soon. Goodbye.